assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss partition function partition function is a very important function in statistical mechanics where we can uh, determine the thermodynamic properties of the system in terms of the statistical variable here we start with the max boltzmann distribution function nj is equal to gj e power minus alpha into e power minus ej by kt so let this is our equation number 1 now let's take summation on both the side so uh, here this gives you the total number of particle of the system and here this e power minus alpha is not depending on j so we can take it out of the uh, summation sign here this summation is car partition function and it is represented by z so uh, we have equation number 2 so here z is equal to summation j gj e power minus ej divided by kt and is known as the partition function and it represent the sum over states or statistical ensemble actually it describe statistical properties of a system and thermodynamic equilibrium and it is a function of temperature and volume okay so now let us take the partial derivative of log of z with respect to t the z is already given by this relation uh, on the previous slide so uh, if we take uh, the partial derivative of log of z with respect to t so we get this equation now applying the partial by partial t on the right hand side we get uh, this uh, relation and here from equation number 3 this is z and from this relation 1 by k and 1 by t square they are independent of j so we can take it uh, out of the summation sign so we are here now if we multiply and divide the right hand side by e power minus alpha so we get this relation and from equation number 1 and equation number 2 we write this is nj ej and e power minus alpha z is equal to n and summation of nj ej uh, is equal to u this you can call the internal energy or total energy of the system so from this relation we can calculate internal energy of the system in terms of the statistical function now uh, you see that in internal energy which is a pure thermodynamic quantity and we measure it experimentally can be calculated in terms of a theoretical function um, which is a purely uh, statistical basis so from this equation for onward we are going to calculate uh, all the thermodynamic property in terms of the statistical function which we call the partition function so if you remember in the uh, beginning of this statistical mechanics course we discussed that that all the equilibrium thermodynamic properties can be expressed in terms of the statistical distribution function we know that molecule of an ideal gas are indistinguishable and the thermodynamic probability for a system of indistinguishable particle and max boltzmann statistics is given by equation number 5 if you remember so uh, we calculated the max, uh, thermodynamic probability uh, in case of uh, Bo max boltzmann statistic for and uh, for distinguishable particle and that was given by this relation but if we apply this to the ideal gas we are the molecule of the gas are indistinguishable so we have to divide this equation by n pictorial so if you divide this equation by n pictorial so you get this equation number 5 which is the max boltzmann uh, thermodynamic probability for a system of uh, indistinguishable particle now we know that entropy is given by s is equal to k log omega so omega is given by equation number 5 so you just take the log of this so now if you apply the log on this so this the product will be converted into the 
uh, summation. So you here, and then you apply the log on this uh, ratio. So uh, you will get this relation. Now here, this is a log of nj pictorial, and for log of pictorial, we have the Stirling approximation given by log of n pictorial is equal to n log n minus n. So we apply here the Stirling approximation. So we are here at this equation. If we can further uh, simplify it, you just take the nj as common. For example, let's suppose minus nj common. So you will have log nj minus log gj and take this out so k uh, this one k summation nj so here this was the last equation on the previous slide so this summation uh, nj gives the total number of particles so you you, you can write as k n so and here this is log nj minus uh, log gj so you can write as log nj divided by gj and let's suppose this is equation number six now according to the max borman distribution function nj divided by gj is equal to this relation and we know that uh, n is equal to e power minus alpha and to z so e power minus alpha will be equal to n divided by z so in place of e power minus alpha we write n divided by z now uh, you can use this equation number seven in equation number six so log nj divided by gj you can put it like log n divided by z peter bars ej divided by kt plus nk so now if you apply the log on this so you will have log n minus log z minus ej divided by kt so this is exponential so the log is specially cancelled and you have ej divided by kt so for the uh, simplification will give you this relation for example this uh, summation of nj so your total number of particles nj nj so you can uh, consider n nj is n and here nj gj is equal to the total energy u this was the last equation on the previous slide. So if you can rearrange, for example, you can take the nk common. So you have log z minus log n, which is given by equation number 8. So you see here, we can express uh, entropy in terms of the partition function as well. We also know that the um, internal energy u is also a function of z. So uh, you can also write uh, the functional form of internal energy in terms of the partition function so in that case the entropy is given by equation number 9 because uh, from equation number 4 we have the uh, internal energy is given by this relation now the helium Hertz free energy is given by f is equal to u minus ts so from equation number 8 you can write f is equal to minus n k t log z minus log n plus 1 and let's suppose this is equation number 10. Now the chemical potential is given by the uh, partial derivative of the helium Hertz free energy with respect to n keeping t and v constant. So if you remember f is equal to u minus ts so df is equal to du minus tds minus sdt and from the uh, second law of thermodynamic d is equal to tds minus pd plus mu dn where mu is the chemical potential and keep in mind when we have an open system so we put uh, uh, this term so here df will be equal to if you put uh, the value of uh, du here so df will be equal to this thing and keeping the temperature and volume constant so this goes to zero this goes to zero so what you have partial f by partial uh, n at constant t and v is equal to mu is, which is known as the chemical potential so now uh, in equation number 10 you have the helium Hertz free energy so from equation number 10 you can uh, easily find out the chemical potential so if you apply this relation on equation number 5 so you get 
this equation number 11 which is the chemical potential in terms of the partition function now uh, from equation number 2 n is equal to e power minus alpha z if you take log on both sides so log n will be equal to minus alpha plus log z and log z minus log n will be equal to alpha so here you see here we have log z minus log n so you can put it alpha or uh, from here alpha is equal to minus mu divided by kt so this is the um, form which we have calculated for alpha if you remember so this was one of the Lagrange undetermined multiplier uh, we suppose uh, in um, distribution function for uh, Bose-Einstein, for Fermi Dirac and for uh, Max Boltzmann uh, distribution function and here we said that uh, we are putting this form for the moment like this one and later on we will calculate this. So beta we have already calculated in the previous lecture when we were uh, talking about the Mm, velocity distribution and alpha we have calculated here in this topic. So uh, the Gibbs free energy is given by uh, this relation and we have already calculated mu uh, on the previous slide in terms of equation number 11. So you just multiply by n so you have the Gibbs free energy uh, and it is this one let us see equation number 13. Now uh, we also have uh, the Helmholtz free energy given by equation number 10 and the difference between the Gibbs free energy and Helmholtz free energy is equal to nkt. So this is very simple, you just, g is given by this, f is given by this, so you just uh, 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 subtract this from this, so you will have nkt. We also know that uh, g is equal to u minus ts plus pv and f is equal to u minus uh, th so this means that g is equal to f plus pv or g minus f is equal to pv so from this relation we can say that pv is equal to nkt or we can write this equation number 14 here like p is equal to nrt and this is the ideal gas equation keep in mind that in this ideal gas equation in thermodynamic we have purely uh, derived on the basis of the experimental observation and now we have derived this uh, um, ideal gas equation purely on the statistical consideration and here uh, how you can write nk as nr so uh, is nk is equal to for example you uh, um, multiply and divide by na which is the Avogadro number so here if you divide n by na so it will give you the number of mole and then Na by the Boltzmann's constant uh, multiplied by Boltzmann's constant Na is also constant, Boltzmann's constant also constant so the multiplication of two constant gives you another constant which is generally known as the ideal gauge constant. Now uh, we can also calculate pressure in terms of the partition function for example we know that Df is equal to this one. So if we uh, consider this is constant temperature so this goes to zero and if we differentiate f with respect to v at constant t so it will be minus p so p is equal to minus partial f by partial v at t uh, f is already given by uh, this relation and equation number 10 so you just differentiate with respect to v keep in mind that here only z is the function of v so we uh, n is independent of v uh, n k and t are already constant so we can only differentiate z z with respect to v so if you do this so you will ha have this relation p is equal to n k t partial z by partial v at constant t given by equation number 16 so here you see that pressure which is also a pure uh, thermodynamic quantity is measured in terms of the uh, statistical uh, function which we call the partition function. Similarly, uh, if you use equation number four, uh, 14, so P has already uh, calculated by equation number 16, so you can also calculate volume in terms of the uh, partition function. Similarly, the specific heat capacity at uh, constant volume could be calculated in terms of the partition function as uh, this one, but because we already have U in terms of the partition function so you just 
partially uh, differentiate uh, u with respect to t keeping v constant okay so we have equation number 18 so this was all about the partition function in which uh, we have calculated all the thermodynamic uh, quantity the next lecture will be about the specific heat of solid where we will discuss the classical law which is dulan pitted law then we will talk about the einstein correction and then we will talk about the device correction okay thank you a lot of